Welcome, welcome, welcome to Kickstart Radio 102.4. I'm your host, Lipstick Paddy, and today we're looking at Catapult Kingdoms. This is looking like a great kids game, really cool. So let's go to the intro. Well, actually, the highlight reel. Ooh, Catapult Kingdoms! This is looking really great. Look, ready, aim, launch! All right, now the box is nice and colorful. I like the cheeky art they've got of the characters. Looks nice and fun. So there you go, there's two sides to play. I like this idea of the uh, two families here. Um, but if you're playing four, how does it split up that way? Well, we'll see anyway. Anyway, see how great it looks like here to build your castle. And you not really strategically have to do it like they're doing it. You can be a little bit asymmetrical if you wish. Multilingual support, it has got no text, so it is coming out the box language independent, which is good to see. At least the other family have their own architecture, bricks, and their own guards. And I guess it does make sense that the guards are all wearing the same outfit, but I'm just a bit disappointed in the facial parts. Is That's it for me. Um, it looks like in the stretch goals, we are getting new cards as well with some potentially new strategies, so this is quite nice. So you, you, that idea of base building before it begins is going to be very cool. And when you've got the extra bricks, you can really design something very, very cool by adding as much stuff as you want. So potentially there's going to be an add-on for more bricks. Um, but you can see here, this guy's got three capitals here. So is he, is he, are you ordering more than one copy to get like a giant version of this? Now, if you've not got Deluxe, you're going to need two copies of the game. Notice here you can go three player, that's a nice setup, and here's the four player. It says that these neoprene game mats are long enough to fit your catapult ballista and build your castle on. Looking very, very good. Solid title, great kids game, also fun for adults. Very quick game, um, extend the game by um, making the castle bigger. It all depends on how accurate you are as well. But um, yeah, looks like a lot of fun. Highly recommend it. Catapult Kingdoms with an early bird price. Get on it if you see this video in time. And if not, why have you not subscribed? Why have you not hit that bell for notices? <laughs> Finally, after almost two weeks of nothing really great on Kickstarter, we've found a cracker here and it's one not to miss. So let's go to the Kickstarter page right away. Let's go to it now. Ba -bum. Ooh, Catapult Kingdoms! This is looking really great. Look, ready, aim, launch! Yep, you've got to build your castle. This is going to be really fun to set up your castle. Absolutely. Set your troops up. Ooh, load your catapults and your ballistas. And use cunning tactics to conquer the floor, it says here. Are you going to be playing this on the floor? <laughs> Nice general here, relaxing, having a cup of tea whilst explosions are going on around him. <laughs> yes, indeed, this is blowing up on the first day. Over a thousand backers, really cool to go. We've got this, um, kind of seen this three and a half week trend on Kickstarter this year, and it's a, actually a, a nice one to go for instead of the big 31. 24 days is cool with me. It does have the early bird, which is Fantastic, because it says you're going to get two free ne neoprene game mats. So hopefully we're getting this out early because um, it's 48 hours to go on it. And it's looking very, very cool. We can see um, some castles been built here, but believe me, they don't come like that. They come in bricks. You've got to build them up to look like that, which is really cool. And you'll notice here that there is four of the siege engines here two catapults two ballistas now you're only going to get that if you go for the deluxe edition if you go for the base edition you're just going to get catapults so if you've got four player edition or you just want a catapult versus a ballista then you're going to have to go for the the expansion which they're calling the siege expansion but it's 60 anyway it's 60 um dollars which is a good price for what we'll see when we go down Alright, now the box is nice and colourful. I like the cheeky art they've got. The characters looks nice and fun. And um, it says two players. You'll, it does go to four though. 
Seven plus, you could probably play with six. I'm sure six or five lords are going to have fun with this. And very short game, 10 to 15 minutes, depending on how accurate you are. And uh, some of these cards let you build up. You know, if, if, if you if your wall breaks down, you can use a card to build it back up. You can use a card to move your men around that are defending it. You can, you can even... Um, you can do wild, these are all like wild tricks you can do, but they're all one-offs that you can do during the battle. Um, so there you go, there's two sides to play. I like this idea of the, uh, the two families here. Um, but if you're playing four, how does it split up that way? Well, we'll see anyway. Anyway, see how great it looks like here to build your castle. And you not really strategically have to do it like they're doing it. You can be a little bit asymmetrical if you wish. <clears throat> it says here we're only using regular bricks because there is, an, there is stretch goals that are actually going to change the brick design. So that's fairly interesting as well. <clears throat> Make a plan, you are weak. Taunt your opponent, it says. You can see them looking at their decks of hands, what they're going to do. Choose your weapon, catapult or ballista. Now, it's going to be interesting if you do go for the two, uh, one versus one, because it does say here, yeah, you could choose your weapon. You can go for a catapult, which obviously will go higher than a ballista. Ballista is more horizontal based, but it is packing more of a punch. Um, some great animations here showing you what's going to happen. I don't think one boulder is going to knock the whole of your castle down. That's nice and uh, comical. <laughs> Multilingual support. It is got no text, so it is coming out the box language independent, which is good to see. And um, the catapults, they look nice. I guess the question will be on the build quality, but as this is a Kickstarter, they'll put a lot of researching knowing kickstarter companies and this is vesuvius media who've done 13 kickstarters including this one so they know what they're doing they have production <clears throat> they've they've managed to fulfill these games and all that good stuff so um so yeah now looking at these cards some of them um, make you steal a card from your opponent one of them is like a rapid shot so you're going to fire two that round instead of one one moves, um, one moves the people around, one puts um, your base built together, you three, put three bricks back up on your wall, and um, one of them is like a stealth mode, so you, you actually go in, cross the field and you're going to use a catapult against your own army, so um, there is that. Now the Cunning Fields troops here, it is carbon copy which i don't think that's too bad because you're just firing balls at them anyway aren't you but interesting how they've got their own cunning field bricks they've got their own style of architecture um, these are the playing boards it looks like the two sides are carbon copies from the looks of them which are a little bit disappointing at least the other family have their own architecture bricks and their own guards and i guess it does make sense that the guards are all wearing the same outfit but i'm just a bit disappointed in the facial parts is that's it for me rule book is very skinny in fact what we're looking at here is the rule book is the actual rule book that you see there's no point looking at it it's so simple to actually do and um yeah so here's the deluxe you get the the listers here and um some extra bricks if you want to do your you know you want to push it to four players nice though here yeah, it's showing you some unlocks actually that we're getting um, in the stretch goals which we'll see and um, it looks like in the stretch goals we are getting new cards as well with some potentially new strategies so this is quite nice um, although it's not clear what these are um, hopefully the updates will expand on what these cards are as it goes through but it's first day they've not had a chance to update it properly yet but um, anyhow more bricks means a larger castle in two player and um, really nice design. It's just stretching more bricks out, really. So you're getting more bricks in the box, which is great value. And they are more to come, so keep your eye on this one. Here's the gallery now. And um, so the <clears throat> play match you get in your box, this is your own bit of land that your castle is going to be on. I like over here, you can see someone's designed their castle differently than this one here. Um, so you, can, you that idea of base building before it begins is going to be very cool and when you've got the extra bricks you can really design something very very cool 
Um, you can see here that this person has bungled loads of stuff here because it says that the your base is potentially just a starting and if you want to extend the game time you can really add to it here by adding as much stuff as you want. So potentially there's going to be an add-on for more bricks um, but you can see here this guy's got three catapults here so is he, is he, are you ordering more than one copy to get like a giant version of this? Um, but it, do, it does look kind of cool and if you've got your own army men you could put them on, on here not just the men that we have here but you could put more around and have it like, go into a real thematic battle which would be fun um, to do here and um, you can see this kid is he's just using bricks for his normal toy set with what he's got in his toy box but hey that's not part of the board game that's something else <laughs> but I'm guessing this could be a battle that's going on I don't know the imagination of a of a little kid and all that jazz so we won't we won't run into the rule book it's it's, it's just what you, what you see here it's just nice and simple really easy to learn play a card fire out blah 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 um, so yeah it does say you can play with more than two players you are gonna need the siege expansion which is included in the deluxe um, Now, if you've not got your looks, you're going to need two copies of the game. Notice here you can go three player. That's a nice setup. And here's the four player. Nice. And uh, we've got some nice reviews, which is good to see. And the early bird pledge where you get the neoprene mats free is, is great, isn't it, really? Adds a little bit of nice. And I guess if you've got your play mats and you've got your game mats inside as well... Um, I don't know, but at least these game mats let you play up to four player with mats. You know, you're gonna you're gonna have at least two of your players with mats and the other ones with the card. Anyhow, <clears throat> it is looking very very good. I'm really enjoying it, and even if you don't paint the um, the bricks, you know they are coming in different distinct colours, which you can see here. Um, so that's a nice little touch. <clears throat> now. It says that these neoprene game mats are long enough to fit your catapult, ballista, and build your castle on. So they're probably bigger than the ones you get in the box. So I'm wondering if you are going to play four player, are you going to want to add some more of these in the add-on? I mean, there are only 15 bucks to put on the pledge, but that's pushing it to 65 and you've got shipping um, and all that. Shipping is rough estimates. We all know that. It's coming in at about two and a half kilos, which is not too shabby. But um, prices, Jalux, is just a little bit more. But it's totally worth it. If, if there's things I'd like to see um, is, you know, upgrade to the cards. You don't got many cards, but an upgrade to the quality would be nice. A UV box would be nice. And... Um, UV spotting on the box, maybe a sleeve for Kickstarter, and um, and it'd be interesting if you could get maybe I don't know like a boulder that was a fire boulder, so you could if it hits the wall it sets it on fire, um, which has a little bit of collateral damage around it. So if if it goes near a guy, the fire would hit the guy and take him out. So you don't have to hit the guy, particularly the fire. Boulder could do kind of an AOE, which would be great for taking down men. That'd be nice to see some variation in the catapults and all that good stuff. But otherwise, it's looking like a solid game. It's looking like a fun game. Certainly, kids are going to enjoy building up a castle and firing these at. And like it says, they can be used with all other toys as well. So it really is a kids game. When are you coming out? When are you coming out? Why have they got this thing on the side? It's so iggly piggly. When are you coming um, so January 2021, so it's going to miss Christmas, but um, that's okay, it'll, it'll be there um, before Easter I guess, but um, yeah, Capital Kingdoms looking very, very good, solid title, great kids game, also fun for adults, very quick game, um, extend the game by um, making the castle bigger, and all depends on how accurate you are as well, but um, yeah, looks like a lot of fun, highly recommend it, Catapult Kingdoms with an early bird price, get on it if you see this video in time, and if not, why have you not subscribed, why have you not hit that bell for notices, <laughs> anyway, there you go, Catapult Kingdoms, 
um, really good Kickstarter game that's out at the minute because we are in a little bit of a lull on Kickstarter, aren't we? Well, on that bombshell, you've been listening to Kickstarter Radio 102.4. I'm Luke Stick Paddy. You take care and stay safe. Bye for now.